Today we will be playing in our Panther, our Pink Panther, with a no gold challenge. And um, let's how, see how this goes. This is an excellent tank that has an awful profile, an awful gun. I mean, it only has 240 or 280, I guess, alpha damage with a standard pen which is a bit going towards obsolete at this point due to the, all the medium tanks going to around 230, the premium tanks and it has no armor so this is an excellent tank but also no awful tank so let's see how this goes and we're gonna just play the, the game with only standard uh, ammo the, the only advantage that this tank has is the fact that it does have some good uh, dispersion values and good accuracy and a bit of also some uh, decent uh, or good actually uh, DPM so let's see how this goes like you see over here we have no uh, no goal now. fortunately we did for the first game an entire uh, 8 maximum game so this is as, as good as you can get for this tank But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because uh, the tank only has um, the the tank uh, has a pretty mediocre chance of uh, bouncing any kind of shots from enemy tanks. Should have fired a little bit faster. As you saw, so far, we're not doing that, doing that bad. She might be tempted to come back. It seems not. Let's try and uh, see if we can punish him. Okay, fair enough. We got our, fir our first victim. There's one Tiger 131 over there. Uh, and also some Marty that's leaving. This Frank is also already destroyed, so I shouldn't really care about that. Let's try and uh, stop that fence again and add this other Frank. And there's the Progetto coming towards us. We did uh, manage to take his turret out. I did miss the KV3, KV3 sorry. I feel, feel that I need to advance a little bit. And I missed again. Maybe we can uh, bounce a shot. And I'm gonna put some pressure on this guy. Never mind. It's a bit of a hectic game, so our armor actually worked for once, one shot, and the KV-1 is dead. The tank does have a pretty decent HP4. Maybe we can... Uh, no, we can't side scrape it. I missed over here, but at the same time that should make uh, our Black Prince a little mistake, maybe. The turtle was... Oh, I need to run away at this point, this is the only thing that I can do because those guys are actually gonna come after me, so the turtle wants a bit of blood. I'll be happy to provide it. Let's see if we can actually shoot this guy and then kill the turtle. Okay, good enough. He actually shot me. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Still, 
3k damage in uh, a little over or a little under 4 minutes and um, I'd say that's a decent result but this was the ideal uh, the ideal game in the in the panda let's go for round number 2 and then uh, we'll wrap uh, this session up as you saw the tank uh, can work pretty well because it has some decent mobility right it has some decent mobility and uh, people do see you like a kind of an underdog and um, they don't expect that tank to fire uh, as fast as fast as it does so this is the most surprising thing about it and if you look the tank actually I don't have some pretty decent stats I don't have many battles but uh, the average damage is pretty good compared to the damage received right And also, who can resist this pink panther, right? Yeah, it's just gorgeous, right? As garish as it gets, as it gets. Uh, one second, though, before I enter the battle, or maybe I can't. There's another tier eight battle over here, so um, I'll see how it goes. Right, going for number two, and then uh, we're gonna wrap the session up. So let's see how the Panther works against plethora of TDs over here, and uh, in a far harder map than the other one. That, that was one of the easiest maps because it kind of saw most of the enemy tanks. This tank. Yeah, it has 280, um, 280 uh, alpha damage, and the gun is really, really good because it fires fast, right? In this sense, so we're gonna try and make ourselves a little bush over here. And we uh, act as a fire support platform. Now. Depending on how the game progresses, we're gonna advance or uh, fall back. The enemy do also have some RT, I think. No? No, they don't have, actually. They don't have any RT. Oh no, th there is one RT, the Lorraine. Because I saw that guy getting shot at. And I missed over here. The CS is falling back. Yeah, I think. That CS is not going to come back. There are too many enemy tanks gunning for him. Maybe from this part when he withdraws, we will be able to actually shoot him. Yeah, he was a bit lucky. But I do reload pretty fast. So as you saw, the, the, the gun is really accurate. The tank, the tank works if you just act as a fire support. Don't think that this tank will do wonders because it's it's not the tank to do that. Okay, falling a little bit back. Maybe that KP uh, Z68 will move towards us. It seems that we have a kind of a split map scenario, but the enemies have a really good advantage on our team. So I don't expect we're gonna win this one. Come on, KPZ. We 
did got spotted. I'm not sure from where exactly. Maybe the right. Or the EPC. We need to stay a little bit back. There is a target rich environment, but somehow I'm not uh, getting my shots in. And I miss. I should have just fallen back, I was a bit greedy. That's what happens when you're greedy in the phantom. You don't really have much of a choice or chance to make that second mistake. The camera won't help you. So, uh, you need to put a rock behind the idea. This is not great. The profile of the map is also pretty funky. I got shot again by all manner of crap. I think this guy just spots me from over there. This this wasn't a great great way of doing things. Right, this Way too close to the enemy team, and I don't have any kind of HP left. So the only thing that might help me is putting a bit of distance between me and them, and hope that they won't spot me instantly. There's a new C. He's going to come around here. sure about this. I'm a bit too passive but I don't have the HP because um, that's how the panda works. I haven't really done anything in this game. We miss, which is a bomb. Then we do have a running yard which could kill us both in one shot because this guy is rejoining the same kind of position that I am, which I'm not very appreciative of. And the art it did swing towards us. So, um, yeah, that's how this tank works. You win some, and then you lose horribly. Too many TDs in today's game. You just can't do anything. And I never felt that I had a good position to advance or to do anything special. I expected the enemies to first come over there, uh, over the flank there were only two enemies. 
on the flank at the beginning of the, of the battle. Then I wanted to go in the middle and maybe support our team if they would press onwards. They didn't press onwards. We actually got our other flank uh, beaten up, so the map split. Then I thought I could uh, fire at the enemies from a good position from above. Unfortunately, I didn't get any spots and the enemy actually spotted me for all the bushes that were on the other side, so it's just not good. Let's go for round number three though. I feel that the, the tank does have something to offer, it's just that maybe I didn't play the tank correctly last time. Maybe you should be more aggressive. And this is a tier 9, with only standard pen. So you kind of saw the, the fact that tank can't take a shot, can't take a, a, a pawn, and uh, a pawn, and uh, yeah, our pink panther kind of uh, became a bit too red, let's say. At this point, I'm going to move towards the, red, the right flank. Not sure if it will turn correctly, but I do hope I'll at least get into that position over there and uh, fire a little bit on the enemies who might try to come from that side. So, unfortunately, the, the, the tank is a bit slow a bit slower than uh, the game is at this point. The game has become really really fast and the panther unfortunately still has the same 46 kph per hour top speed over here. There's this T32 who is quite aggressive. Can I actually see this guy? No, I don't think so. This map is there, right? It allows you for just almost the position that you want, but never a great one. This tank was good when uh, you could have a lot more uh, sneaky kind of positions in the map, but uh, we're gaming in their, in their brilliant mind, decided that you couldn't have good positions on maps, so they just decided to, to basically remove them, redo the maps, make them all straight lines, in which heavy tanks are things and uh, a lot of windy kind of conditions in which the only tanks that can work are the overpowered lights that have 70 kph per hour which is I mean it's a bit ludicrous let's see if we can see that Lorraine maybe a bit He's not gonna come back. He's kind of long and crazy. Problem is, I'm pretty alone on this flank. There's only the buffing driver. So if they would rush this area, then I missed. Did I get spotted? No. So they, they fill the map, uh, the maps in general, with a lot of houses and objects that weren't here initially. There, there were a few houses in, on each row, and then you could have an open field, some bushes, place strategically. Now there is a house for each and every uh, turn, and you can only see the enemy for one second, which is. Yeah, that's not how real life, life works. Either. But this is a game simulator, so what do you expect? We 
We are currently losing the game. Right, so I do need to be a bit more aggressive. If I do want to at least have some contribution to the game. Maybe I can find the Lorraine. If she's still out here. If she's not. This guy was pretty patient up until now. Yeah, so I'm trying to block the the cupola with my uh, with my gun. I'm doing is not really impactful, but uh, I am chipping away at least at one tank. The problem is, I do have a lot of other tanks, so this isn't really gonna move the needle too much. This guy isn't very good as well, but he does have a punchy gun with good rate of fire. Yeah, he's now scared, so. Should hopefully be able to catch him. Oh come on, seriously? Finally, we got rid of one tank. Now there's at least 100 other tanks. How many are there running through our defenses over here? So let's try and uh, see if we can get some shots from anywhere. No, I'm not gonna get shot at by that quarry. At least if I would have, if I would have a bit of um, support, but uh, and I actually got shot at by the T95. Yeah, it's a waste of a game, and I miss. Of course I did. And I bounce. Heal tank, right? This is insane. Yeah, I just got spotted. Right, so you saw the, the Panther, what it can do, it's basically just a tank which can support uh, your team and do a decent amount of damage with its good DPM. Whenever it uh, gets the attention from the enemies, it basically dies. So uh, this is what the uh, wall of tanks looks today, uh, when you take a tank which was, let's say, okay-ish five years ago so let's see the final score and then we have 500 uh, HP and the second on damage right so right so the pink panther acts like Clouseau he trips he falls and then he dies on his sword so on that bombshell, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope I see you in the next one. And um, one more thing, if you do like this content, you might enjoy uh, the video that I made in which I open 75 loot boxes. So take care, see you later, bye bye.